In this tutorial, we will cover how to use the standard scoring feature in Datalink Connect. This tutorial is one of a three-part series on how to use the custom scoring features in Datalink Connect. If you are looking for instruction on custom scoring or rubric scoring, please view the other videos in the Learning Center. Once Datalink Connect is open, the first action is to add a new column header to the results grid. To do this, select Edit in the upper left-hand corner and scroll down to Options. A window will appear. Make sure the icon that says Results Grid in the upper left-hand corner has been selected. With Results Grid selected, check the box below that reads Score, then select OK. You will see your new column header here. Once we change the amount of points the questions are worth, you will need this column to determine the total amount of points the test is worth and how many points each student earned. Next, load or create a key. Once the key is in the key line here, select Session and scroll down to Scoring. A new window will appear. Select Standard Scoring on the top left of the new window. Standard Scoring is the simplest scoring method with every question sharing the same point value for correct, incorrect, or blank responses. To start using Standard Scoring, check the box here that says Use Standard Scoring. Once the box is checked, you will notice you can enter the point values for correct, incorrect, or blank responses. The values you enter will be used on every question in the key. Please note that you can use a negative sign in front of a number to take away points for incorrect or blank responses. Once you have filled in your point values in all three boxes, click Apply to apply the new point values to your key. When using standard scoring, please know that when you change the point values, this will be the new default point value for this key only. If you want to change the scoring back to Datalink Connect's default scoring, where every question is worth one point, you will have to enter one into the correct response field and zeros into the incorrect and blank response fields, then press Apply. Once you have added the point values and selected Apply, press OK to close the scoring screen. On the key line, under the score column we added, you will see the increased point values for the key. Next, you will want to save the key to save the changes you made in the standard scoring screen. To save the key, select File and scroll down to Save Key. When the new window opens, choose where you want to save the key and what you would like to name the save key. Then select Save. You have now successfully changed the point values for all the questions in the key. You can use standard scoring in combination with other scoring options in the scoring screen for even more custom scoring. To learn more about the other scoring options, please watch part two and part three of the video series. If you have any additional questions about how to use the standard scoring feature, please contact a member of our technical support team at 800-827-9219.